When you create a portal, you'll see that it comes with built-in functionality for things like messaging and invoicing, but in many cases you'll have data and other tools that you want to bring in and show to your clients in one place. This is where extensions come in. An extension is an embedded or linked application that is visible to your clients. There are two types of extensions, global extensions and local extensions. We'll walk through an example for each one. To add an extension, go to Portal, Modules and Extensions, and click on Add. You'll see that we have highlighted the most popular extensions here. If you select a product you use, let's use ClickUp as an example, at the top you can see that we've added app-specific setup instructions. Since the extensions feature works with any app that supports embedding, there are millions of other apps you can connect that are not listed here. So don't stress if the app you want to connect is not shown on this page. You can always click on Custom. Let's go through some examples so you can understand the different types of extensions. Let's say we want to make it easy for clients to schedule time with us. To do that, we can add the Calendly extension. Click on Add beside Calendly, give a fitting name to the extension, and select an icon. Since we want all clients to be able to see the extension Leave Global selected under Type, there are two different ways an extension can be viewed as connected embed or as a link that opens in a new tab. We're going to leave this extension connected as an embed. Now paste your Calendly URL in the content area. Confirm the preview looks good and click add. We'll do one more example before showing you the client experience. Let's say we have client project dashboards in Airtable and we want to make it easy for clients to see them. Click on add besides Airtable give a fitting name to the extension, and select an icon. Since every client has a different dashboard, select Local under Type. Let's go to our dashboard and add the embed for one of our clients. For local extensions, you have to connect an embed manually for each user, so let's navigate to the extension and set that up. Again, let's show the extension as an embed so that no new tab has to open when a client clicks on it. Now let's save it. Now that we've added our extensions, let's log in as a client to see what they can see. As expected, there are two new sidebar items, one that lets the client schedule a call and one that shows the status of a project. 